So many shocking images uh, from the wrath of those storms from Limestone, Madison, Jackson to DeKalb County. So many of you sent in some really incredible images of those storms and others shared the mess that's now left behind. This is the site of what many woke up to this morning. Richard Maxwell shared this picture from the Crystal Springs community in Kelso, Tennessee. You can see this large tree in his front yard split in half. Kelvin Nichols sent in this incredible video from Harvest showing how quickly the strike of lightning knocked out power to their neighborhood. And several people in Gurley are dealing with this today. These photos are courtesy of Miss Steenberg from McMullen Cove. Roofs blown off, fences knocked over. And in Huntsville, it was a close call for Vicki Goodwin. You can see a tree fell, missing her home, the Five Points area, and landed inches from her front door. Oh my goodness. Now to DeKalb County. Angie Tinker, who lives near Eider, sent in this video showing golf ball sized hail falling, damaging both of her vehicles off Highway 75. And no question, Henniger also hit very, very hard. This photo submitted by Melissa Phillips, who lives along Culver Road. You can see a large pine tree toppled, smashing the white car then onto the home. And if you have a picture or video you'd like to share, just go to our website, click on the menu tab, submit a photo. It's easy to do. Or you can email us at news at WAFF.com. In Huntsville, Haley Baker, 48 News on your side. Haley, thank you. We will be giving you continuous coverage of the damage from last night and this morning's storms throughout the day right here on WAFF. We will have crews in Jackson, Madison, DeKalb, Limestone, Marshall, and Lincoln counties all afternoon gathering new information. So be sure to tune in again at four, five, and six.